Hi guys, Cody with Skylink here, and today we're going to go over solar flight planning using the M3T. Um, so go ahead and we'll jump right in. Open the DJI Pilot 2 up and click create a route. From here you select the middle setting and mapping. and It'll pop up a satellite view. From here you want to go ahead and find your solar location. Um, for this example we'll use a local one. Um, it's best to turn the street names on to kind of help you locate where you're looking for. Um, once you've found your location, go ahead and tap the screen to get your boundaries up. From here, you're going to go on and want to set your boundaries using um, the waypoints on the screen. You want to get those off to the corners and make sure you get the whole area you intend to inspect in that blue area. Now it's important here to add waypoints to make sure you're sticking to the shape of the array and having additional space both on the top, bottom, and the sides of your area. That way when you actually start the inspection you're not going to miss any panels or any partial rows out there. Um, so here I'm just going to set and make sure my waypoints are all good. Some margin off to the sides for safety, some margin to the bottom for safety. Oops, okay. And now we have the area. You want to go ahead and open your settings and rename this to Skylink Solar for this example. Um, however, you want to go ahead and rename this to wherever the site name is. Uh, next, you want to go ahead and select your camera or sensor here. Um, for this example, we're using the M3T. You want to make sure you select wide and IR. That's very important to do RGB and IR. Next, your safe takeoff altitude. Um, you don't have to adjust, adjust that, but um, I'm setting it to inspection height. Um, that way, it'll take off to that safe altitude. Um, the next is the actual flight route altitude which we're going to set at 74 for a comprehensive level inspection. All right. Altitudes look good. Um, so our next setting we're going to adjust is the speed of the flight route. Um, and for a comprehensive level inspection, we're doing seven miles per hour. Um, and then we're going to move on to the course angle. We want to align these up with the panels here. So we want those flight lines to line up with the panels. You can see on the screen the line there. Um, we got it about there. We want to go ahead and use the plus and minus button there to get it closer. We want to go straight down those rows side to side. All right. Ooh, I think we got it right here. So that looks pretty good at 89 degrees. Um, the completion task, you can, I set it to exit task. You can leave it as is. This allows me to fly back at the end of the mission. Now we'll jump into advanced settings. We'll set side and front overlap. Side overlap being 25 and front overlap being 70. So 25 and 70%. So that's gonna adjust your flight lines there for altitude and overlaps. Uh, at this point, if you wanted to add in some extra margin uh, on the sides and the bottom, you can use that margin bar um, you'll see as I, you adjust it, it goes outside of your flight boundaries. Um, we built that in with the flight boundaries to be safe already. Photo mode, keep to timed interval shot. Now you want to turn on custom camera angle because we need to get the sensor facing the right direction. Um, change this setting here to defined route for the aircraft route. And on your start icon, you'll see as you slide it, the direction your aircraft will face. So let's get that so we would be facing the panels when we started. So zero degrees, we will be facing the panels. And down below you'll see it's defaulted to minus 90 so we're looking straight down at the panels. All right, settings look good there. Quick review, speed, altitude look great. We are all set up. Now we wanna go ahead and save this flight plan now you have the mission flight plan saved. 
everything looks good on your screen, you can go back, you can select that flight plan, see your previously made flight plans, and now you're ready to execute. Thanks guys.